Hello again. This is an update. It is November 30th. This is my 125 gallon build. Just want to do a quick update for all you guys that are curious. It is looking beautiful. The water has been tested perfect. We took the 46 gallon bow front <clears throat> water and most of the sand out into this system along with the 40 gallon breeder water and most of the sand, about half the sand into this system as well along with a bunch of new water half of the rock, the live rock is new Look at that. It's a peppermint shrimp. The system is looking good. The water is looking good. The fish are looking good. The corals are looking good. Everything is looking great. There's my two clowns looking happy. Candy cane coral. Purple an enemy. You guys saw pictures of that. He's looking happy. Just to do a quick run through, we've got the two, the four bulb T5 on top on the right side. We've got the two bulb T5 on the left side. We also have the sump refugium. For now, it is just a little bit of Kato. Two different types of Kato, I believe. I don't know. There's different colors. Um, the one on the left and the one on the right, I believe, are the same. But the one on the left has been in the system in the for a lot longer. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm, they're both in the refugium right now. We've got a 2-3 to three inch sand bed. One piece of live rock. Both of the Kato. The two inlets are doing good to the refugium, bubble trap, and mag nine feeding back up into the system. We've got a new addition to the family today. It is a coal tang, cole tang. The Hawaiian name would be cole. That's him right there. Or a yellow eye tang or coal tang. He just disappeared. Oh, there he is. He's still getting comfy. He's hiding out in all the caves and crevices, but he's looking good. I couldn't resist. I've been looking for a tang. I've had a sailfin tang. I've had a regal tang, and I've had a scopius or scopus tang. But the coal yellow eye, my wife is, she fell in love with this fish, so we had to get him. We haven't named him yet, but he's looking good. We've got the Duncan that I was a little worried about yesterday. Turned out to be great. There he is. You see him? The Duncan's opened back up. Yesterday it was enclosed a little bit. Fighting conch. There he is. Hello. 
Hello. New system. He was new at the fish store, but I, like I said, I had to pick him up. We've got some frog spawn. We've got some yellow polyps. A mushroom. Green star polyps. More mushrooms. Mushroom. Ninja star. Snail. This is a new piece I just picked up. It is a chalice. Hopefully one day it will be huge. Some more frog spawn. That's a blasto to the left of the frog spawn. Some zoas. This is the armor of God doing good. I might frag those two pallets to the left just to donate a little bit more. This is that algae that I was questioning a bunch of people about. Um, since I posted it up, I got 50-50. It's good. It's bad. Take it out. Leave it. Um, but a lot of people want to buy some. They said, hey, that's bad for your tank. You should take it out. By the way, I want to buy some from you, so we're, we're leaving this in the tank. I'm going to frag some out, put it in the refugium. Hopefully it'll grow. It looks good. I like it. This is a Persophilia. In one of my other videos, I said I would post it up, the, the official name, and I haven't. I will this video for sure. And then this is the Kryptonite Candy Cane. Not as big as it usually is, but still doing good. This is the, the two heads splitting right here. Hopefully this will be a four head soon. My Anemone. This is the War Coral. My flame hawk fish is right there in that dark spot. There he is. Can you see him? Oh, he just swam off. Uh, the puffer. My Valentine puffer. He is great. I love this guy. Very nice fish. He's doing good. More mushroom. This brain or I don't I don't really know what this is, but I picked this up in Mexico when we're when I was there for my honeymoon. Um, it was it was on the beach. It was ready to go. I did not pull it off from a reef, but I actually glued about four mushrooms to it. One have been there. Or has one, one has stayed so far. This mushroom right here under the zoa or the zinnias um, is one of them, but it has opened up. I'm very happy. I fragged I fragged that off of this. This one right here to the right has was always doing good. The one to the left looked overcrowded. So I fragged him. And I got that mushroom. I got this mushroom. There's another one in the back that I haven't pulled out yet, but it's looking good. I probably very soon I will do a video on how to frag mushrooms because these two very large ones right here, I'm probably going to turn into at least, at least two. I still have not a, got an ID on this guy. I don't know if he's a clam or a mussel, but I really, really, really want to reach in there to show you guys that he closes up. Here we go. Oh, there he went. Still waiting on an ID for this guy. I don't know what he is. 
He's opening slowly right now. Look at that. Look, he is opening up. I'm sure he's good. He's filtering. He's a nice guy. I, I don't want to keep him out. He's blended in with the rock because of the Coraline algae, but I, I don't want to take him out. He's, he's a keeper. My Mandarin. That's another... I pulled this uh, this big s snail shell off of uh, the beach of Mexico as well. My mandarin's doing good from the 40-gallon breeder. A lot of people said don't do that and blah, 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 but he's doing good. Peppermint shrimp, some super bright.